hello there. Um, how are you guys doing? Hope you guys are doing well. Here we go with the finger guns already. Okay. Um, let me take a sip of water while I stare into the camera real quick. I'm sure you guys needed to see that. <laughs> um, hope you guys are doing well. Um, you guys might notice two things. Um, we are back to brown hair, Christy Ann. Um, and I got a haircut. It's a lot shorter. So basically, um, I am trying to get prepared for my new job and I want to follow the, um, oh, what's it called? The appearance guidelines. And I wanted to have my haircut be, you know, more of a, um, symmetrical ha haircut. I previously had a more asymmetrical hairstyle and, um, I am trying to be smart with my money, so I um, am not gonna be dyeing my hair anymore. Um, it's not very cheap to get it platinum blonde and have to touch it up every um, few months. So I was letting my hair grow out so I could cut as much of the blonde off as possible, but um, it still was very clearly platinum with my roots showing. <laughs> so I was like, okay, time to dye my hair brown. and. I, th I did it by myself, by the way. I went, went to Safeway, I got some cheap box dye, and I did it myself, and not bad, honestly. <laughs> so there's that, and then it might not be noticeable at all because I'm very subtle with makeup, but I'm, I put on makeup. I, I mean, this is not the usual amount that I would wear, but I did some foundation, put a little eyebrow stuff on mascara, because I had to take a photo for my new ID, and I thought since I've looked and did not sound great in the last video, that I would make, make it up to you guys somehow by looking less like garbage. <laughs> uh, and to be fully upfront, I still feel like garbage, but that's a whole nother story. Um, yay, we love doctor's appointments, that's all I'll say. <laughs> um, but anywho. Um, we are here to talk about diamond painting and I have another finish for you guys to show. Is this my, hold on one second. So this is actually my 30th finish of this year so far. And um, we are gonna be talking about guinea pig. Here's the image on top of my lovely face. Um, and I did this diamond painting for my friend, Michelle. Um, basically my friend, Michelle, um, she used to be a coworker of mine, but when I was getting to know her, um, I learned that she loves guinea pigs and she has a lot of them <laughs> at her house. And um, she, as we got to know each other, she learned that, you know, I am um, a little bit obsessed <laughs> with diamond painting. And um, I went on the Diamond Art Club website and I discovered the guinea pig diamond painting. And she pointed at it on the screen when I showed it to her and said, if I buy that, will you, do it for me and give it to me. And I was like, absolutely. <laughs> so that's what we've done. Um, I no longer have the diamond painting in my possession. I, I have already given it to her and she loves it. It's hanging up in her office. Um, but yeah, so that's why I did this. I, I know it's usually not my typical style, but um, it was, it felt really nice to be able to get to work on it and give it to Michelle before I moved. Cause once I realized I have to move, that was all my, top priority list to get that done and give it to her. <laughs> um, so let me give you some information about this kit. Um, so once again, it's called Guinea Pig. It's from Diamond Art Club. The artist is Eve Izzet. Izzet? I think it's Eve Izzet. That's what I'll stick to. And it is a square diamond, diamond painting, square shape diamond painting. I should probably know what I'm talking about at this point, but nope. Um, 34 colors. Um, and the size is 32, oh, there's a typo on the website. Oop. Um, it's 32 centimeters by 42 centimeters. The typo that I noticed is they wrote 32 meters <laughs> by 42 centimeters. That'd be a bit um, abnormal in size. <laughs> but yeah, so it's really tiny. It's, you know, it's a typical, oh, what's the typical size? Like a eight and a half by 11 Oh, it has the, the inches right there. It's 12.6 inches by 16.5 inches. So very relatively small, at least for me, compared to all the other millions, what feels like diamond paintings that I've done at this point. Um, but the thing that I really noticed about this kit that stood out to me was that there were no ABs. 
So I have no ABs to show you guys. You know how I love showing you guys the ABs. I don't got that for you guys this time. Um, and yeah, so um, I'm trying to think what other information I have. Oh, well, I have the website or the um, diamond painting on Diamond Art Club's website pulled up right now. It is currently, um, at the time that I'm posting this, not in stock, but um, you can always enter your email to have Diamond Art Club notify you when it's back in stock. I'm trying to think what else to say. I think that's all I got for you guys um, to start off with. But yeah. Um, oh, as always, <laughs> I will have um, this diamond painting link down below so you guys can check it out if you're interested. Um, all right. Now I'm going to go continue on <laughs> with um, the video and you're going to start watching me work on it because I filmed the entire thing of me working on this kit because it was that small and I wanted to make sure there was enough content for you guys to listen to slash watch. So, all right, let's go.
the flip side Maybe we can be friends when you're not so fragile When you know yourself well Somewhere down the sweet line When I do things for me Cause I don't wanna be, be a therapy I wanna be free, so Ooh, gotta go and grab a spoon now Ooh, make a life for myself Ooh, I don't know what I'ma do now Ooh, but I don't need your help Get out of my way forgot to point out and I'm sure you guys may have noticed already by now but um I cleared out the the shelf because I've been packing finally I started packing finally <laughs> so um, I packed up all my video game stuff it's in a blue tub on the floor behind me that the cats love to sit on um, and Henry is it's actually really cute Henry is currently curled up in a ball in front of our space heater but the space heater is not turned on he really wants me to turn it on, but the, it's too loud and the mic picks it up. So sorry, Henry. <laughs> but one thing that I wanted to mention about this kit, well, actually two things. Um, the first being this kit is filled to the brim with confetti. My multi-placer and I, we both cried the entire time <laughs> while working on this because we couldn't multi-place. Like, I think the, if I don't like to switch out my multi-placer. Um, I am boring and I like to just stick to my comfort zone. So I always use, right now I'm always using this pen, but um, anytime I use a different a different pen, I always pull out the multi-placer, the same one and put it in the other pen. Um, but yeah, I think, but the point I was trying to make just now is that if I were to commonly switch out multi-placers, the best one that I would recommend for this kit is a four-placer. Um, that's how significant the confetti was. I think like in the middle of like the guinea pig's face, um, where like the white is of the face, that's like the best place where I was able to actually multi-place with the 15 placer a little bit more. <laughs> but other than that, it was filled to the brim with confetti and confetti definitely takes a lot longer to do for each section because there's a lot of color swapping. And I feel like this kit would have been perfect to have, um, I've seen this on YouTube recently, but like the art dot um, tray that they have to offer, it's basically like a wooden layered tray where you can put different trays on there so that it's a perfect type of tool to use when you have a kit with tons of confetti, but I don't have that. So I just was boring and used my same tray and then just suffered and I was fine. <laughs> um, so that's that. Uh, that was the first thing I wanted to mention. But the second thing I wanted to bring up was that I actually ran out of a color. Drama, I know. No, it wasn't that big of a deal. I think I ran out of um, a light purple color. I don't know the DMC. And does it really matter? No. <laughs> but um, I ran out of a purple color. And I think I was maybe short by like tendrils. Um... That's like, that's like the second time that, that that's ever happened to me where I've run out of a color. And um, I, I I was just, I'm too impatient to wait <laughs> to go ask them for, ask Diamond Art Club for more drills, especially since it's like 10 drills. Um, wait for them to send it to me and then finish the kit. I just looked at the closest purple color that was also, you know, charted in this kit and just used those and it was fine. So it wasn't a big, big big deal to me, but just letting you guys know that that happened. Um, and I'm sure that if I had 
decided to be patient and reach out to Diamond Art Club and let them know what happened that they would have responded like immediately and sent the drills no problem, but um, I didn't do that. So <laughs> I think most people can probably feel the same way where they're like, eh, it's not a big deal. I don't want to wait. I'll just figure it out myself and no problem. But I know that um, some people have had instances where like they're, they need like over 200 extra drills where in that case, if I had that experience, then yes, I would have reached out to them. But 10 drills, not a big deal. It's fine. <laughs> um, let me see what else. I think that's all I got for you for now. So I'm going to let the video continue onwards and I'll um, see you guys at the end. <laughs>
as you just saw, it is all finished. <laughs> um, I really like the variety and colors in this kit for, I don't know, just for such a small kit, there was like a, it was just jam packed with colors and it was, you know, very bright and colorful kit to work on. I feel like this kit would have almost been good to work on for like a rainbow themed event, just because that's what it felt like. It felt like every single color for the rainbow was in this kit. Um, it was a pleasure to work on and I do like my square drill kits. I've been working on a lot of square drill kits as of recent, but right now my current whip is a Diamond Art Club round kit. So it's a nice um, break from all those squares. <laughs> um, oh, what was I gonna say? So this upcoming weekend um, will be my first two days at Disney and I am beyond excited. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe it's like finally happening. Like as of Saturday of this week, I will be an official Walt Disney cast member for the Disneyland Resort. That's just dream come true, honestly. <laughs> um, so it, since I'll be, since I'm currently in the process of moving, um, I am, I have a few videos that I'm trying to quickly prep ahead of time to hopefully um, hold you guys over while I'm doing the whole moving thing. And um, I'm also trying to prep for Diamonds and Disney, all my videos for that ahead of time. So I am filming those videos um, ahead of time, but I will be doing like all the giveaway stuff when the giveaway stuff actually happens. So um, I know you guys are 100% patient, but thank you. Thank you guys always for your patience. I do appreciate it. Um, last week, I was visiting my family in um, Wyoming for my grandfather's memorial service. Um, I had to travel out of town for that. So um, yeah, I, I was, I'm glad that I was able to do that to be there for my family. Um, this I'm not gonna be moved in this weekend. I'm just going down for the weekend to have my first few days at Disney and then I'm gonna come back and finish up packing and doing the big official move um, the last week of November. So it's gonna be very hectic. <laughs> Um, but this weekend I will be staying at my friend Katie Diamond, Diamonds and Washi's house and I am, I guess I'm saying it now, but I am 95% sure that I'm going to be going live at Katie's house on Friday night. Um, but I'm going to be waiting until like later in the um, evening um, so that I can respect Katie's family's privacy. And um, I might go live with Katie and Jade as well because Jade will, of course, be there. She's not staying at Katie's house, but she's going to come visit, of course. <laughs> so um, keep an eye out for that. Um, there should be a live on Friday and probably starting at um, 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I think that's when we'll start, but um, you will see the live the live um, notification pop up, giving you guys a heads up of when it's happening. So maybe don't listen to what I'm saying right now. Like just keep an eye out <laughs> for the notification. Um, but yeah, I'm just, oh, I'm so excited. Um, a lot more prep to do. Um, and yeah, so um, with that being said, I will let you guys go. Um, let me guys know how you're doing. Um, what do you think of this kit? Would you guys actually get this kit? You know what? I, I never do this, but if you watch this video all the way to the end, could you leave like a rainbow emoji? Or, yeah, like a rainbow emoji because this kit, like I said, it feels like it has every color of the rainbow in it. And let's just spread some rainbow happiness. Okay, I'm going to let you guys go because Henry is giving me um, a sad look that he wants me to turn on the space heater. So I'm going to do that for my poor cat. <laughs> but um, have a great rest of your week and I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye. Bye.